Alright everybody, welcome back. My name is Zexor. This is my Let's Play of The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. Thanks for joining me. Uh, in the last part, um, after a little bit of wandering, I went down um, back into the mine. Um, There's a second mine car. Oh no, that was after. Anyway, I went back down into the mine and there was, um, there was that wandering miner. Um, and I, once again, uh, you know, inspected each of the different corpses. Their memories all vanished. They showed symbols on a... Uh, there's like a big plate. You go, you would send it up a path a little bit, and there's big, like, um, big stone tablet, I guess, or whatever. Anyway, it's big, like, you could stand on. Anyway, has different symbols carved in and stuff, and the, the different spirits went in different spots, showing you what symbol needed to be rotated to what, what, uh, yeah, what shape. On, there was a wheel with several shapes associated with them, like triangle and a star and so on. So each shape um, had a certain symbol that you had to rotate it to, and then basically opened a gate and water flooded the world. And so we find, come to find out that <laughs> that miner that was wandering around that was kind of creepy and scary, he actually was cursed to wander the world forever, transporting people back to the, the entrance to the mine, preventing them from ever opening the portal. Well, I managed to anyway. As a result, I pretty much drowned the world. Uh, there was a note by Ethan Carter about the curse of the Sea King or whatever, and it discussed, um, you know, basically what we had just seen. Like, we talk, like I talked about before in the previous part, um, a lot of Ethan's stories seem to like pretty much reflect what he sees in reality. So, anyway, or here's another possibility too that I thought of and I shouldn't say before. It's possible Ethan writes a story and then it becomes reality. So it may not have actually existed until Ethan, like maybe Ethan going in the one room didn't actually awaken a god really per se, but it imbued him with power. So as he writes stories, that's what becomes the new reality. That's a possibility too. That's kind of a scary thing to contemplate, but it's definitely possible. All right. So we got some places to go, some rocks and stuff that I don't see right now. Sex, so why you talk? Why you sing about random things? Ethan was close. I could feel him. A pinprick of light in the darkness. He would know me. He would know why I'd come. He was close? Okay, so... Were there any other clues over here? Probably not, that I'm guessing. Well, maybe, though. I don't know. I don't know what way I'm supposed to go... In or specifically in order to progress. Oh, it looks like this. So probably just saw that I had cut the corner and was figuring, oh, you're going to follow the path. Okay, so... And all the way across. Normal bridge. Zexor! Why did you not slay the giant creature with tentacles? There's no fighting in this game. I didn't have the option. Not to mention, it'd probably kick the crap out of me if I tried. This is probably true. You cannot, you cannot fight anything. Well, um, thanks for your vote of confidence and stuff, Scotsman. Friggin' jerk pants. Oh wow, so this is like, whether it's fed off of the same water source or not, this is like a nice, quiet, serene, the kind of hideaway from the rest of the town, right? Because if you go back this way and cross the bridge, that's where all the the Carter house and the Vandegrift house and the the mill and the... You know, all that stuff was. Interesting. Alright. So 
then I guess cross here. Sex us should do a lot of wandering. Well, I don't know where things are. Right? There could be clues. There could be more. Um, there could be more murder scenes, or I don't know. Right? I don't. I mean, I. I actually. I don't think there are any more murder scenes. I think every except Ethan. Other than Ethan, I think pretty much everybody in the Carter family is dead. Right? We had in the very opening. In the very opening, we learned. Um, you know, that Travis was killed by the grandfather. Grandfather. Uh, I don't know where happened the grandfather, actually. So he might be alive, I guess. I don't know. But um, Missy was drowned by Dale. Dale killed himself rather than get killed by Travis. Um, and Chad was killed by Missy accidentally. So that leaves because the the grandmother died in the fire. So that basically leaves the grandfather. There's nobody else other than Ethan. So my guess is the grandfather's dead. I mean, I don't know what happened, but my guess is he's dead. Wait. What? So there's another house that burned down? I'm confused. Yeah, all right. Let's look at the burned ruins. Don't know why there's like the weird kind of I don't know like motion or something going on. This bur recently burned down because there's still embers. Ethan, Ethan, where are you? Are you okay, dude? That would be really scary to be like a little kid with all this stuff going on and then like on top of everything you find I don't I mean I don't know, right? But I would guess he finally thought he maybe survived all the terrible stuff and then the, this house burned down. House that maybe he was in. Maybe he wasn't inside though. That would be I hope he wasn't. I don't see him, so I'm getting maybe he wasn't. That would be good. If he somehow survived. Everything? You find him at the very end all safe? That would be cool. But there's some some weird symbol something there. Can I okay, can I inspect it? Since Then fight it! I have to destroy the room! Quirvis. I'm sorry, Ethan. Wait, Corvus? What? Corvus. Uh, Safe. Uh, so I need a Corvus. C O R V U and S. There we go. What does that do? Open door. Okay, so... Uh... More 
creepy danger, Zerxo. So I know. I don't know what's going on. That doesn't look good. Like symbols of uh, heathen symbols and stuff here. That's not cool. What's going on? Oh, is it Ethan? Charred. Ah, peaceful. That's Ethan. Dang it. Oh, that's not Ethan. I think that's... I think that's the grandfather. Oh. Chronology. Um. Okay, let's do this first. They were moving things, I think. And then they brought the gas. And then they they opened the door. And then he was sad because he knew that basically he was going to die. I found Vandergrift's diary. He said for the sleeper to wake up, someone... Okay, so it must be this then, I think. So previous... Now visualize. Ethan, I fought it off. It's okay. Grandpa, get away from me. Your grandmother Gail is protecting me from it. Ethan, I can help you. I found Vandergrift's diary. He said for the sleeper to wake up, someone has to suffer. Look. When I found that room, I didn't wake him up. He's trying to wake up now. Vandergriff kept his victims alive. He made them suffer. That's what the sleeper wants. We need to get in that room. I can squeeze through. to be this way. The sleeper must not wake. Burning the room won't matter, Ethan. The sleeper's inside us now. Grandpa! Get back! We all have to die. Even you. Even me. Sexo, that's really messed up. I know, right? It's really sad. So Ethan's in the room, I guess? Here we go. Ethan, wake up. No, kid. You stopped it. It was horrible, but you stopped it. Paul Prospero? Are you, are you really here? I'm sorry, Ethan. I was late. Too late. You're right. You were too late. Here. Again. I knew this story. And it was Ethan's as much as it was mine. And it wasn't finished. Not yet.
damn church. This place. Stories. Traps and skulls. Question mark. House of portals. The witch forest. Ancient god. Stories. Something's out of place? What was out of place? I'm confused. Oh, oh, I have to... Stories. I'm missing a story. There's something over here with that. Oh, okay. Let me... I don't know how I get there though. How do I get back to? All right, I'm gonna try to run back, so I'll cut the vid, and I'll see you guys when I get back there, just a little bit. Okay, so I had seen this before, and I didn't really. It looked like it was just some kind of energy thing, but the map, the drawing had this on it, so I don't know. Oh wait, what? Oh. Oh, okay. I interact? Nope. Alright, so we go boom. Boom. <laughs> boom. And boom. Oh, whoa, what? Spaceman I'm supposed to follow. Okay, astronaut. Hey, you go a little fast for me, astronaut. Where are the crowd? Alright. Sexy why he keep disappearing. I don't know. I he's leading me somewhere, I think. I think you smell bad and he's trying to get away from you. I smell bad, so he's trying to get away from me, really. Now where? Where? Oh, over here? Okay. Okay. I'm following you. Show me, dude. Whoa. What the? Hang on. Spaceship. I know, right? We're like above the Earth now. What in the world? Uh, uh, that's awesome. Ooh, maybe I don't want to be that close to that. I don't know. Ooh, nice. <laughs> that's awesome. Peter, it's like a sky of stars. So we're in a pod like, apparently there are a bunch of other pods as well, all floating in space as well. That's cool, this is awesome. So good. That's <laughs> cool. Oh, read. 
fangs. The beast had fangs, but was heavy and slow. So when it saw the light in the sky, it waited, thinking the light would go out, like the others before it. When it did not, the beast stood, rose up on its legs, and went to the place where the fire was, bur was still burning. As the orange light died, another took its place. This one was blue, a bright and pure blue that the creature had only seen along the edges of the stars. The beast showed its fangs, and the light vanished. A moment later, the light appeared again between two distant trees. The beast wanted to go home, but could not ignore the light, so it chased it deeper into the forest. When the light stopped, it did so in a clearing of trees. The beast entered the circle, feeling no fear. The trees turned toward the beast, pointing at it like needles, but the tops of the trees lowered and dug into the ground. The trunks and roots were raised into the air and closed around the beast like walls. As the ground disappeared, the beast realized it would never use its fangs again. Get out of my room, Travis! Stories, stories, always with the stories. Get out! I read the fangs one. I liked uh, the beast. At least he gets to leave this goddamn place. So that's the Fang story. Gaylord, Abstruse Tales, Yellow Hills of Mars by Douglas Spaulding. Records Science Fiction, 1964, plus Julian West, Clarence Carlyle, Michael Arden, and many others. So it's a cover of a magazine torn off, I guess. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to I'll cut the vid again. I'm going to head back to uh that other burned place where Ethan had been, Ethan and his grandfather Ed, and uh see if we can have that drawing now move the story along now that we have that story that Ethan wrote finished as well, so I'll see you in just a second. Okay, so getting back in now, I just need to open the door again. I had to close the door, because that blocks the way, the only way you get into to here. So, anyway. Uh, Alright, so there, there, and let's try the stories again, okay. Christ, Ethan, you're in here again? You missed dinner. Mom and Dad are pissed. They've been looking all over the place. Get out of here, Travis. Leave me alone. <laughs> hey, Ma, he's in here. Honey, be careful with that lamp. Damn. What the hell's wrong with your kid? Painting on walls, writing his stories? <laughs> I mean, what the fuck? Ethan! For God's sake. You missed dinner! I'm sorry. I've been working on a story all day. How long have I been out here? The Adventures of Paul Prospero, Supernatural Detective. Where do you get this stuff? Pop, would you get Travis out of here, please? He draws pictures on walls. What the hell is that? Chad? Shut up! You got yourself a faggot for a son, Dale. Travis, let's go. Come on. Faggot! Ethan, you're a fucking faggot! Travis, stop it! Oh, shit! Shit! Everyone! Whoa! Get out! Ethan, get out! Let the smoke, it's toxic! Oh, oh God! What do we do? What do we do? Wow. 
Sexo, sexual eating type of fire. You, but I don't know if I created you. <clears throat> you made me real. I can't go yet. I have to finish my story about you. I wrote stories about everyone. I know you did. But my story's done. And it's a fine story. I can... let go? You can let go. What happens then? Another story, kid. What else? Thank you everybody for watching. This has been my let's play of The Vanishing of Ethan Carter, the final part. My name is Zexor. If you've enjoyed this, please like, favorite, comment, subscribe, share the video, tell people I do the series, and uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Zexor Weglin, Twitch, Zexor Weglin, Facebook, Zexor.Weglin. I'll try to let you know about 12 to 24 hours before I stream when I will be doing a live stream event, so you can follow that if you want. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next game series. Till then.